What's going on YouTube? Today we're doing um, front brake pads on a 2015 Yukon XL. Uh, this applies to any of the same year, 2015 and newer, uh, Sierra, Yukon, uh, Tahoe, Silverado, uh, Suburban, most of those same uh, GMC, uh, GM platforms. First thing, obviously, take the wheels off. Already have the car jacked up with the jack stand under there. Set the wheel bolts, pop the wheel off. All right, once you get the wheel off, there's uh, two 19 millimeter bolts that hold the caliper to the caliper bracket. So I'm gonna take a 19 millimeter ratchet wrench, break them loose. You take it all the way out, it just looks like this. Okay, so don't do what I did. Keep that top one in there until you break the bottom one loose. Because if not, this bracket will, the copper is going to tilt backwards. Once you get started, it's not too bad. We can take the bottom one. Take the top one completely off now. All right. Now we can take the brack, the copper off. It should just slide right off like that. Just kind of find a place up here. Set it aside. Here we have the two calipers. Just kind of pull them off. Yeah. So the side that was giving me issues was the passenger side, but this one. I don't know if you can see that or not, it has these um, cracks right here, heat cracks in the pad. The material's still good as far as the thickness, but yeah, they're still, might as well replace them over here. Check the inside of the rotor. And then now uh, we're going to take these slide pins off. Just kind of pull it off like that. Here's the top one, bottom one. On this one, there's no difference. Uh, some of them you might see um, a rubber bushing on the outside of the pin. For this one, they're identical. So we're gonna set these aside and clean them up uh, once they take everything else off. So here's the um, brake pad shims. Gonna take this one off. Uh, it's okay to reuse these, just clean them up if your kit doesn't come with new shims. It should come with your brake pads. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing new rotors just because these are somewhat new um, and have plenty of thickness on them. So here's those new uh, brake pad uh, shims. Just gonna go down and set these in place. Just make sure you put the, it's got a little spacer right here and just sits right in between. And it's kind of even on both sides. They do clip in. Just gotta put a little force down in there. There we go. Just make sure they sit nice and flush. So there's the little groove right here. Just make sure this part of the shim just clips down in there on both sides. It's nice and even on the top and bottom. So now, before we put the new pads in, we're gonna have to push the uh, caliper pistons back in. And I will use this tool right here. But, very important, before we do, I'm gonna open the hood, take the cap off for the um, brake reservoir. All right, the cap is now open. So I'm gonna take this tool. It's a blue point part number, oh, I can't read that. Maybe BTCP 500, right here. You can get these at Harbor Freight pretty much anywhere. Just gonna apply pressure to the two pieces as I ratchet, allows it to spread out. Alright, starting to grab onto it. 
So I'm just going to go nice and slow. So right now, see a little um, air coming out of the gasket here. See how it's bulging up like that? So I'm going to go ahead and back it off. I'm going to go grab a pick and just get in there and just let the excess air out of there. Uh, this is how we want it to look. It's nice and flush, but here the, there's some air in there. I'm just going to go grab a pick. Alright, I just want to grab the pocket screwdriver. I just want to go in here. And just let the air out. Okay, well we shouldn't see any brake fluid. Should just be a dust seal. That's not right. Maybe some of it got push past this piston. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and keep pushing it in. I don't know if you can see this little section right here. It's kind of blown out, so I'm going to just kind of walk it around and just help push it back in. There we go. Yeah, it looks like a mixture of water and brake fluid. Yeah. Okay, just let all the pressure out of it. Now it's right where it needs to be. So I'm guessing maybe I need to rebuild the seals eventually at some point. But yeah, now, now these seals are fully seated. Everything looks fine. Now we can go ahead and I'm just going to clean up the caliper slide pins. I'm just going to use a rag for these. They don't look too bad. I just cleaned these not too long ago. I'm just clean it off. Just like a rag, with a rag just like that. Now the other one, those are ready. So when you get your brake pads, there's going to be one that has an inside lip and another one that does not have it. See the difference here? So this one's going to go on the inside of the rotor. And this one goes on the outside. Be very careful not to switch those up. You spot the difference. Inside, outside. Come in from the back. Slide it just like that. Uh, for the outside one, same thing. Come in on the bottom, push it in there. It should be a little springy like that. You want you want that to be a little springy. Those springs push the brake pads out away from the rotor. That way you're not riding on the brake pads the whole time you're driving. This came with the kit. This is for the pins. So I'm going to go ahead and not put any grease or lubricant on the brake pads at all. Slide pins going first. All right. I'm going to use the bolts that come in all the way. Go ahead and put a little bit of grease in here. 
Go ahead and just kind of grease the whole bolt. Just like that, nothing crazy. Put it in here. Allow that boot to fully seat over the lip. That pin slides back and forth perfectly fine, nice and smooth. Go ahead and do it to the other one. Just a little bit like this, enough to where I can just get it all over the pin. Go ahead and slide it in the top. Make sure that boot is fully seated over top of it. Now we'll go ahead and take the galper. Same thing. I like to start with the bottom one and visually see that it's over top that bolt, the slide pin. And then come in here, press the brakes, the pads together. Now on this top one, just push this in and slide it in just like that. And then put these bolts in to try to get them started. Should have no issue getting these bolts started. Just get them started by finger. Go ahead, get the bottom one in. If you need to push it out, take a rag, wipe that grease off. Wipe this caliper off. Take our 19 millimeter ratchet wrench. That one's snug. Come back to the bottom. Counter hold the top one nice and tight. So before I do the other side, I'm just gonna go in, um, pump the brake pedal a little bit just to get the um, caliper pistons extended as much as they can. That way, um, when I push the pistons back on the other side, it's not gonna blow out any brake fluid out of the master cylinder. So I'm gonna go up, finish the other side. Throw in a little time lapse at the end on the other side just so you can kind of see what it looks like in real time. If you made it this far, comment, like, please subscribe so I can keep making videos like this. If you enjoyed this video, nice little view of my garden. Got some nice flowers coming in today. Thanks for joining. See you on the next one.